It's Throwback Chevy, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the program. My name is Michael Coughlin. I'd like to relate a little story to you today. I was driving around the GTA, listening to the radio, Q107, out of Toronto, and I heard an ad promoting a concert for Helix and Lee Aaron. And this, of course, got my head spinning and uh, my legs walking down memory lane because years ago on my cable access program, The Metal Mike Show, the early 90s, I did an interview with Helix to promote their album, It's a Business Doing Pleasure. Now, Fritz had been on the program two or three times before at this point, but it was the first time I met Brian Vollmer, and he was a gracious lad, and I really enjoyed myself. And now, this was a particularly challenging time for Helix, because only the year previous, they had lost their longtime friend and guitar player, Paul Hackman, to a tour bus accident. So here they were, new record on their hands, uh, missing one of their brothers in arms, and uh, putting on a tremendously brave face. So uh, I'd like to remind you all that Helix and Learn are performing in Brampton, Ontario at the Rose Theatre on October 26th. If you're in the neighborhood, drop in and say hi and tell them Metal Mike sent you. And without uh, too much further discourse, here you go. It's Brian and Fritz of Helix. Festival City, and uh, here playing the role as Bruticus, it's Brian Vollmer. How you doing, Brian? A2, <laughs> Brute. <laughs> and of course, Fritz, uh, no stranger to the Metal Mike Show. Welcome back. Mike, how are you? How you been? Not too bad. I like those uh, shades, by the way. Yeah, I can see people better with these like this, eh? It's the kind of day for sunglasses, you I know? you're a little bit warped, <laughs> so are the glasses. It's uh, Business Doing a Pleasure, the name of the uh, new album, and uh, new label and everything else. It's Aquarius Records. Yeah. Um, who came up with the title? Who came up with the title? Well, during the winter, uh, I usually walk a dog with a friend of mine around the corner. His name's Doug Weir, and he sings for a band called Sire. And uh, one night we were down by the river, and uh, Doug says, hey, what do you think about this for a title? And I thought it was great because, uh, especially with, with, with Helix, you know, we've been doing this now for 17 years, and uh, we haven't made much money at it. We've made a, uh, a living at it. But the important thing is, we wouldn't be in this business if it weren't for the fact that we love what we're doing. And uh, I thought it was very appropriate, uh, the title, so that's why we kept it. Right on. Um, let's talk about the single then, uh, That Day Is Gonna Come. Uh, is that like a, a autobiographical tune in any sense of the word? It's a, tell me what it's about, first of all. Uh, it's about your uh, normal everyday kid that uh, leaves home to uh, join a rock and roll band, has got stars in his eyes and thinks he's gonna hit the big time. There are a lot of parallels you can draw between the character and, and the song and uh, what's happened to Helix over uh, the last 17 years. The first verse um, was with Mark and uh, Paul in mind, and I think the second verse was probably uh, about my life to an extent. Uh, the divorce I went through and uh, just some of the things that happened to me over the years. Um, so that's what the song's about. Tell me about the uh, video, Fritz. Actually, you were saying a little bit about it earlier on as, as far as uh, how it was pieced together and, and the, the tape you used. Yeah, it's all the uh, film that we've taken for the last 17 years and on Brian's camera. He had along on the bus whenever someone had a free hand, they'd go out and they'd film everybody, you know, doing stupid crazy things. We're real hams for film, eh? And, yeah. And uh, we put it all together and it just it shows all the best spots and it's... Who, who was the director for that? Us. <laughs> you guys? We directed it. Was it emotionally draining at all to go through some of that old footage of, uh, for instance, Paul Hack Hackman and, and any of that stuff? Well, I don't think it was as, as 
much emo it was emotionally draining I can't say it wasn't uh, you know I, I got a little choked up first time I saw the uh, final version and uh, people that are close to the band that have worked with the band uh, over the years were, were definitely uh, touched uh, by it um, it was interesting to note that David uh, one day I came in to see how they were, were coming along with the edit and he says you know I've gone through all these films and I can't find one shot of Paul where he isn't smiling or laughing or joking around and uh, once he drew my attention to that fact, it was true, you know, I couldn't find any shots where, where uh, um, Paul looked bummed out or anything like that. And that's, that's basically the kind of person he was, very up person and uh, got along with everybody. Fritz, you're, you're a seasoned guy of the road. <laughs> What's up with uh, where you've been playing so far and where you're headed? Well, we just got back from northern Ontario. We did a little stint up there, Thunder Bay, Terrace Bay. And Timmins, we did this thing with uh, Ray Lyle, right? They were over there with us. That was a neat combination. Got up and played with us. Yeah, right? right up. A little uh, spontaneous jam. Yeah, it was really good, you know. And uh, for now, we're just waiting to see what the album's going to do. We're doing some sporadic dates around uh, Ontario. We. That's uh, a jogger. That's a jogger that just went by. <laughs> get him! Get him! And we're just doing. We're just waiting to see what happens. Basically, you know, I heard something. A Western thing coming in or an Eastern thing coming in? We're working on a Western tour right now. Yeah. I think what we got to do is we got to get out there and we got to uh, uh, sell the album. We got to meet people sell, from sell, the sell, 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 sell the capitalists and us coming buy, out. Buy. But uh, <laughs> no, I, by that I mean we got to get out there and we and we got to uh, meet the people from the radio stations and the record stores and uh, just get in uh, front of uh, an audience and, and play the new material to people because I think the material sells itself. Sell.